there's nothing more unsettling than hearing a sharp knock on your front door just after you've gotten comfy on the sofa for the night. Usually, you just ignore it until it goes away. But what would you do if the knocking was coming from inside the house instead? That's exactly what happened in this next clip, uploaded by TikTok account Highly Suggested. Can you get it now? Stay there. It's all a little too much, like angry pounding fists against flimsy wood. And the banging kept switching between two different doors like clockwork. What really swayed us though, was the child crying. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you can go. Come on. It's okay. Yeah, kids tend to cry at the drop of a pin, but something about the terror in those walls at the end of the clip makes it pretty clear that something isn't quite right. What do you think is happening here? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, don't forget to bump the like button and subscribe. Actually, don't subscribe just yet. We'll earn your subscription by the end of this scary compilation. Looks like this thief chose the wrong house to burgle. TikTok user Mapa posted a clip that is as bone chilling as it is hilarious. Take a look for yourself. Doesn't look like a string was attached anywhere, and the ball wouldn't have floated like that either. Some good work from the security ghost. Perhaps we should hire it for when we go away on holidays. The YouTube channel D Dark Path Scary does a great job at finding creepy ass footage of poltergeist activity. But this is surely on another level. The scenes you're about to watch will make you consider leaving the lights on tonight. Let's watch. The video starts out quite calm before what could only be described as an unholy presence takes over. He is grabbed by the legs as if someone or something was attempting to take him away. The man knew he had no choice but to fight, free himself and avoid a catastrophic ending. And boy, did he fight his way out of this one. It's safe to say he'll be spending the rest of the night wide awake. That's if he be spending the night at the house at all. This eerie presence wasn't done with it though. The scenes that follow are even creepier. After an unsuccessful attempt to abduct the man, the poltergeist does something that will most definitely help make the man's mind up about getting a new place. Take a look.
On that same night, the surveillance camera outside picked up something at the house as it made its way out of the building. Was this real footage or poltergeist activity caught on camera? What could have lifted the man's legs like that when we can't see strings or signs of video masking techniques? The guy seems pretty disturbed after the incident too. And what the hell did the CCTV camera catch outside of his house at the exact same moment? You spend your whole life wanting to get out of the office. But it seems like the supposed spirits over in this establishment can't get enough of it. Uploader, user C, captured footage of something so subtle that you might just miss it. But look closely and notice how the chair moves. Did he catch it? It's moving gently. Not like someone is spinning it, but like someone is sitting in it. Could this be the result of a gentle breeze? Or a spirit trying to complete a spreadsheet? Who knows? We all get our heads in the clouds every now and then, but the scary videos you're about to watch take that to a whole new level. Imagine going about your day and coming across this. Where the hell is this guy's head? Fair enough, we can't see the front part of his body, but here's another one uploaded by Lerano Kaji, this time with a better view. You don't have to be an empath to sense that he might not be having the best day. No clue how on earth this footage could be faked though. It must be extremely difficult to edit genuine looking CCTV footage and have it go unnoticed. And the editing process would have to be done frame by frame by a skilled professional considering the figure is continuously moving. So how are these headless dudes roaming the streets? Let us know what you think down below. Sometimes, even the dead want to make the best of themselves. Who doesn't feel better after a quick short back and sides? However, the barbershop customers and staff in this scary video uploaded by the TikTok user Meito Kiera seem to cut their own pampering short after witnessing this. There is no clear evidence of strings being pulled, and the reactions of everyone involved certainly seem genuine. They decided that they weren't dealing with that today, and honestly, we can't blame them. A ghostly creature is certainly a hell of a reason to cut your shift short. But what do you think? Real or fake? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, don't forget to bump the like button and subscribe to avoid missing out on our weekly spook fest. This clip will make you reconsider that job application for the night shift. This security guard was doing his usual patrols, but there was somebody unexpected following right behind him.
This place was already creepy enough without shadow bastards stalking around the halls. But this one couldn't resist making a cheeky appearance. Hotta X Investigasor Paranormal are a team of ghost hunters that specialise in the unexplainable. Whether it's an abandoned house, a ghost sighting, or some creepy ass poltergeist activity, they're on it. Although, when they went into this allegedly haunted forest in the dead of night, they fled the scene screaming. But it wasn't the endless creepy crawlies that sent them all spiralling. It's what they saw when they trekked even deeper into the leaves. Perched incongruous among the shrubbery was a weird looking doll covered in blood or red ink. Now we're going to assume that you've probably been watching our scary compilations long enough to know that dolls are never good news. But this one takes the word creepy to a whole other level. Take a look. Estranho demais, muito sinistro. Something seems to be extremely wrong here. The team seem to believe that there is a rich history within those woods, one that harbors rituals, evil spirits, and even demons. And sure enough, a demon, a creepy old doll moving on its own, and a large abandoned woodland in the dead of night sound like they all go pretty well together. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Sometimes the scariest things are not outside your front door. Sometimes they lurk right in the middle of your front room. Y gente se acaba de meter una rata. Y pues ahorita vamos a... Eh, güey, ¿escuchaste? Se metió una rata, güey. No, sí, güey, vamos a matarla, güey, sí, güey. Güey, qué pedo. Escucha, güey, no, güey. Ahora qué mamadas. Güey, se metió alguien. No, no, no. No, mames, no. No, está cerrado. No, ¿está cerrado? Sí, está cerrado. Ahora qué mamadas. No, no se metió nadie. Ahora qué pedo. He began recording to show his followers that he had caught a mouse out of the corner of his eye, but the footage that he actually captured seconds later left him wishing he had never gotten up that night at all. At a glance, it seems like someone could have easily thrown the ball off camera behind the large TV unit and darted away when we see the curtains move. But after re-watching it a few times, we notice that the house is far too small for anyone to fake all this off camera and get away without being spotted. The camera goes straight to the place leaving no time for anyone to leave or hide. How the hell did this creepy ass moment happen then? Is it paranormal? Let us know down below. According to TikToker Zach, his house is haunted by an entity that seems utterly furious. Life isn't easy for his family, so to show the world what they're dealing with, they decided to install a security camera in the hallway where most of the activity happens. This is what they captured. The emerging and sudden drop of that black towel seems incredibly unnatural, as so does the fact that it seems to be floating, but is that enough to say that the house is haunted yet? Let's see what else they captured. Thank you. 
два вот ногу, да, стакан. На, вы... на выход, да, на выход поставила. Ну все, мне уйти надо. А вы уверены, что поможет? Things are moving at will and getting thrown in the weirdest possible manner. If this is not paranormal, do you have any idea how can they be faking the ball floating the way it did or the sugar spreading like there's someone blowing it? We can't see anyone close to it and no sounds that could indicate a leaf blower used off camera. But the more we dig through this TikTok account, the weirder the activity gets. Skeptics might assume all these clips to be just a clever hoax, but if that's you, please let us know how do you think these incredibly unnerving feats are pulled off. Can't wait to read your thoughts in the comment section. Neil and his girlfriend from the YouTube channel Namicism have been experiencing weird things inside their house, which was built in 1908. From loud bangs on the doors, cupboards found mysteriously open in the morning, and even doors opening and closing on their own, the freaking place seems to be a paranormal hotspot. But no matter how much they tried, they could never capture anything on camera, so they were not prepared for the paranormal punch in the face they were about to get. Take a look. Are you dead? What? What does it mean it's not dead? Are you alive? Makes no sense. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't understand that. How can it be alive? Wait, wait. We never saw this. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's creepy. That's fucking crazy. I've never seen an actual thing like that. It's so nuts. You saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Alright, so I'm a little hesitant here because it said it's alive and we never saw the door open here and. There's never nothing in here. We've checked. This has happened several times. There's never been anything in here, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and be careful about this. All right, so there's nothing in here. Everything's good so far. Nothing in the corner behind the door. With no signs of strings or jump cuts in the footage, we had to dig a little deeper, of course. After going through their comments section, we found some people believing that the door opened due to the air pressure. But while that is plausible, it does not explain the bangs they've kept hearing coming from the bathroom. After a thorough investigation of the room and still no signs of jump cuts, we can see there is no one inside and we can't hear any footsteps either, eliminating the possibility that someone could have been hiding behind the door and scuttling off when they got inside. To further prove that the activity they captured was real, they uploaded another clip with one camera outside and another camera inside of the bathroom. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure this time. Oh, we've been recording so many times, waiting for this moment. Mm -hmm. No one in here, look at, you can see me, camera and camera. No one in here. Just to make sure you can see me coming in and checking. Not a, 
I had to use my tripod. I used to hold the camera with the tripod, but I use it for the phone. Look at that. Boom. Camera and camera. Nothing. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Hold on. I have an idea. Go in, go in there real quick. Can you close the door? Can you? No, no, not you. Um. What? You see that? Do, can you do that again? Can you move the door again? <laughs> oh, 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 damn. Oh my God, look at, holy shit. You seen this? Look at camera and camera, folks. We have a full view shot of the bathroom from both sides. So it's confirmed there is no sneaky action behind the scenes. The knocking is loud and clear and nothing is placed around the door that could be causing it to drift open. But what do you think? Raw paranormal activity footage or something fishy going on here? Let us know in the comments. It's all fun and games hearing a few footsteps upstairs in the dead of night, or catching a fleeting figure sliding across the room out of the corner of your eye every now and then. But what if you were catching those things all the time, every day? The YouTube account My Name Is Sam documented what it's like to continually live on the edge of a paranormal pit of despair. It all started when he took a Polaroid picture with an old camera he found while cleaning the basement. He took a few photos to check if it was working, only to capture something Reddit users have described as the hat man. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the Polaroid that I uploaded to the internet last week um, before I start discussing anything else that's going on around the house. So this is the original Polaroid that I took. Nothing about it has been changed, tampered with in any way. Um, what I noticed originally was right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, at this point, your guess is as good as mine, but I really would appreciate um, just some help to figure out what it is. This is where I was sitting when I took that picture. I was aiming, I think, right around here, and the head of whatever it was appeared through that pane right there. I double-checked on the Polaroid itself. The deck drops a few inches, so whatever it was had to have been at least six feet tall, maybe more, which I'm sure I would have noticed someone that tall standing there, but I know for a fact there was nobody there when I took that photo. I wanted to show you all from the outside where this thing would have been standing when I was taking that photo. So yeah, right around here. Because if I'm sitting there, aiming the camera this way, right where I'm standing right now is where it would have been standing. But like I said, I didn't see anything when I was taking the photo. So that's what's confusing me the most and scaring me too, is how can something have been here, been standing here when I was taking the photo, but I didn't see it. I hope that explains a little of what's been going on around here, but at the very least, you know the story behind this Polaroid. I'm gonna keep my camera at the ready just in case anything else happens, at least the activity that I've noticed. I'll try to document it as best as I can. And I, I hope it's just, I hope this isn't something that I have to worry about going forward. If you look closely at the photograph, you can see an outline of something foreboding, glaring daggers through the window pane. After this, Sam was understandably terrified and confused, but things were just getting started. A few days later, Sam uploaded a video of his cat acting a bit strange. Okay, so my cat is acting a little weird right now. Yeah. What? What are you looking at? What? What is it? What's wrong? You're scaring me now because you're staring straight ahead. What are you What are you staring at? 
All right, now I'm just looking for Buddy. I haven't seen him all day either. He's usually hanging out here on the counter. That's why I call him the counter cat. But I don't know where he is. Sometimes he hangs out on these chairs. Buddy. Buddy. Oh, there he is. What are you doing under the chair? Hi. What are you doing? What's wrong? I don't know what he's doing down here. I've never seen him really hang out under these chairs before. He's always on the counter. Jessica is staring at random spots and Buddy has been hiding a lot. Almost like they can sense something is there. Apparently, they have never acted like this before. It could just be a change in the season, but it seems too coincidental that their weird behaviour is happening at the same time as the paranormal activity. The more clips we watch, the weirder it gets. Alright, so I've been having some issues around my house with some of the lights. Uh, I had someone come out to check to make sure there was nothing wrong with the wiring, there isn't, and I've changed the light bulbs a couple times, but this keeps happening. And I don't know why. Even the light bulbs have had enough of this crap. Sam rang someone to check it out, but they couldn't tell him what was going on. Some commenters have said it could just be the bulbs being put in wrong, but it seems strange that they have only just begun flickering, inside and outside the house. Okay, just put a new bulb in and let's see if it works. Nice. So I was just taking my trash out and I noticed this and I wanted to show you guys. It's not just the lights inside my house, it's also the lights outside my house. That one's fine. And now it's not. And from here, things start getting damn right terrifying. Sam uploaded another video after hearing some strange scratching and banging noises coming from his attic. That's when he decides enough is enough and heads up there with his camera. He didn't expect to catch something so weird though. Take a look. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this is what I've been hearing the last few nights.
did you catch it? At the end of the video, when the lights went out and he decided to go and get new bulbs, we can see a faint figure walking past the camera as if it's stalking him. Who or what the hell could be lurking around in this guy's attic? Whatever entity this is, it's having a cruise throughout the whole house. Get ready, because the next clip will have you checking if your doors are locked. Hello? Who's there? playing games and it's not funny. No matter how much courage Sam has, this experience probably had him ordering a new pair of pants on Amazon next day delivery. But more importantly, the knocking sound is distinctly wood being hit. But how is the wooden door being accessed from the outside when clearly both the front and back doors have glass doors in front of them? Awesome audio editing skills, or something far more sinister at play here? After the knocking, Sam started patrolling the grounds of his property to check for intruders. However, he did not expect to turn around and see that the thing he feared all along was already inside. Oh my god. Did you catch it? There is a figure standing at his bedroom window. 
he bravely steps back into the house with a small pocket knife to defend himself. But same as usual, there was nobody there. This invisible menace can't leave Sam in peace, and its actions get more and more obvious as we watch. He hears some commotion down in his laundry room, so he goes to check it out. As per, he sees nothing. But this was the last straw. These were closed. These were 100% closed. I never leave these open. If there's someone or something here, I want you to prove it to me. I want you to close one of these doors. Come on! Oh, for being honest, I'm glad nothing happened. And as if it couldn't get any worse, the entity decides it's time to pull out the big guns. Hey, yeah, I, was, I just wanted to call and say again, thank you for taking Buddy and Jessica for a few days. Yeah, I, I just got to get out of this house for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, listen, I got to get going, though. I got to go check into the hotel in about an hour. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. While some commenters felt this video was a little hard to believe, most still couldn't explain what they saw here. But could Sam fake that level of terror when he spotted the supposed apparition of the Hat Man? But just because he managed to escape for a bit, doesn't mean the other residents of the house did. The moving of the blinds is one thing, but this entity has to be a whole other level of bastard to be messing with our furry friends. Is the entity targeting Sam's pets? Unfortunately, there's a chance that could be the case. One day, 
Sam noticed his beautiful cat Jessica was having issues with her eyes diluting a lot. When he went to the vet, they told him that there was a black mass behind her eyes. This story is heartbreaking, so if you're sensitive to stories about animals, we recommend you to skip the video right now and keep yourself spooked rather than sad. Check the description section to find the timestamps for the next video in this compilation. If you think you have a brave heart, we'll let Sam tell you the rest himself. I just got back from the vet. Um, the doctor agreed with what I was saying earlier. Um, that it was something cerebral, neurological, and... Um, she said that if I, you know, um, if I let her be, she would just get worse. They could give her steroids to give her a boost, but it wouldn't buy her much time. But uh, she would have eventually started, like, having seizures and rubbing her head into things and everything like that. So, um, Doctor uh, recommended that I that I put her to sleep, and so I did. And uh, I already um I already did all my crying at the uh, doctor's office and on the way back. And uh, I just I'm. I'm I'm gonna miss her. I really am gonna miss her. The only thing I kept thinking of on the way over here was, did this thing in my house do this? Did it cause my cat to die? And... I know Dan said to stay positive, but if this thing is going to those lengths to hurt and now kill my animals, what do I do? Especially if it's attached to me, because if I leave the house, at some point, it'll just resurface. It did in the woods. I didn't really notice it while I was gone for those two weeks, but... If this thing is attached to me, it's just going to follow me wherever I go, so there's no point in running. Uh, but I don't know what I'm going to do now. Whether this was the action of an evil entity or not, we offer nothing but love and respect to Sam and his precious girl. We know how hard it is to lose a beloved pet. Rest in peace, Jessica. YouTube channel Dark Matter posted a video that might just push you into believing in the other side. According to an interview conducted by The Telegraph, Father Gabriel Amorov has made a name for himself by performing over 50,000 exorcisms, ranging from just a few minutes to several hours in length. He is known worldwide as the Vatican Exorcist, with thousands of successful exorcisms under his belt. The one you're about to watch proved to be one of the most challenging for him. Given its terrifying nature, this footage was released as a documentary titled The Devil and Father Amorath. After William Freaking, the director of the famous movie The Exorcist, was invited by Father Amorath himself to witness and capture the real deal, an actual exorcism. During the trailer of this documentary, William Freaking stated that, quote, This is not fiction. It's different from all other movies. With that said, 
you better be prepared because the clip we are about to show you is not for the weak hearted. The woman laid in the chair seems to have lost all sense of herself. The anger of this alleged demon inside her body is almost overpowering three fully grown men. If we listen carefully to her tone, we can hear it warp and contour into different voices every time she speaks. Again, according to the directors of this documentary, this is raw footage, which makes things even scarier. When she said, we are legion, could that mean multiple demons are possessing her body? It certainly seems like she has the strength of multiple people, and if a demon truly is inhabiting Christina's body, who else did it bring to the spook fest? Even though the creator of this documentary states otherwise, this could still have been some fantastic editing and brilliant acting to trick the world. But something about the way Christina is violently jolting in her seat and the inhuman expressions on her face tell us that something truly evil could be going on here. When this lady comes back to herself, she looks like a completely different woman. But was she really being possessed by forces we cannot understand? Hit the comment section and while you're at it, don't forget to bump the like button and subscribe to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. We've all heard stories of poltergeist activity where something invisible throws stuff across the room. But in the scary video uploaded by TikToker Moon Goddess Crystal, the poltergeist goes the extra mile, ramping up the water bill and engaging in kitchen renovations. 
The clip was originally sent to a paranormal investigator, and in all honesty, we can see why. Some of this creepy ass activity is so strong, you will even be able to sense it through your screen. Take a look. Dr. Kostler, it's Mary, it's happening again. The water just came on, I'm hearing noises, my dogs are going crazy. Yes, yes, I'm calm. I'm hearing stuff in the kitchen, in the bedroom, I don't know what to do. <gasps> oh my God, the water just turned on. I'll call you right back. Oh my God, go away, leave us alone! <laughs> oh my God. Did you hear the terror in her voice? According to the comments, she was on the phone to a paranormal investigator while this was happening. And boy, was that investigator having a field day with the activity they heard over the phone. The water tap turning on is one thing, but how the hell did the cupboards all burst open so abruptly? The activity is too much for one person to sneakily do on their own off camera so quickly. But the scariest factor of this footage is the dog's reaction. Just a few seconds before the paranormal explosion. Leave us alone! <laughs> Something else was there with her, and they could sense it. One commenter even suggested that they once lived in that same house 15 years ago, and received hefty warnings that the place was haunted, to the point that they had to move out after experiencing it firsthand. YouTuber Yama Q uploaded a terrifying sequence of clips that should teach you to always be suspicious of super discounted properties. It all started with the need to find a new place to live. After getting notified by his landlord that his house needed some renovation work, he started searching the market when he hit the jackpot, or so he thought. He found a really cheap 42 year old property but the whole place had to be renovated, though not for the reasons you might like to think. The previous owner died within the walls of the house, which really puts a damper on the amazing price. But he couldn't pass up such a bargain, and honestly, we can't really blame him, can we? However, there's just one small problem. The water in the bathroom just won't turn on. No matter how many times he tries to get it fixed, the problem comes back soon after. We can't shake the fact that the bathroom is exactly where the previous owner died. Coincidence? Maybe, maybe not. After witnessing the door opening on its own and hearing some strange noises at night coming from that area of the house, he decides to set up a camera inside the bathroom and turns out there could well be something lurking within those walls
while the bumps and bangs on this first clip could be easily faked off camera if he were to knock on the wall from the other side and either pull a string attached to the hairbrush or let it fall from the vibrations of the bangs. We still decided to continue exploring his channel to spot any mistakes such as video editing masks or jump cuts in his footage. However, even after going frame by frame, there seems to be no visible strings or signs of fakery anywhere. It's getting harder to debunk his footage. We could come up with theories on how the items are moved with strings, the creepy ass voice is placed on top of the footage, or the clock is part of a well done software masking technique. But without actually spotting any mistakes or signs to prove these claims, we might as well assume that the freaking place is disturbingly haunted. And when we look at this next clip, the latter starts to become more plausible. After hearing the aggressive knocking on the door behind him, he quickly pans the camera with no jump cuts and steps inside the room to prove that there is no one inside. And surely a string wouldn't be able to slide that door closed. But maybe you know another way this could be done. Let us know. But whether it's real or fake, the dude decides to do a little more digging and finds a gory shrine near his home. 
These shrines were used as a protection from grudge-bearing spirits who experience cruel deaths and are widely believed in Japanese culture to cause natural disasters. This shrine in particular is built on top of a prior battlefield from the Sengoku period. It was most likely built for the soldiers who were brutally murdered during the war. Could this ancient spiritual belief be tied at all to what he is experiencing in his house? In this next clip, we get another dose of bone-chilling footage. He decides to film with the bathroom door open to see if there are any changes in the weird activity. And it just gets creepier. The banging doesn't seem to be getting any quieter, but some commenters seem to believe the loud noises could be coming from the room directly above the bathroom. Perhaps Yamaku could be stomping around and shouting to create some spooky content. We quickly learned that he wouldn't be able to do it though, because there is no room above the bathroom. After this, Yamaku attempts to find some more links between the history of the area and the activity in his house. Northeast from his new residence, he finds a dead water well, which doesn't make things look any better for him. In Japanese culture, Kimon, which translates to demon gates, are always found in the northeast direction of a city. He then decides to travel in different directions around his house to see what else he can find. To the southwest of the house, there is a park with an ancient burial mound or a kofun that houses the coffins of the many ancient ruling classes in Japan. There is a lot of spiritual belief in Japan and a lot of history seems to surround his new residence. Could this be bigger than just one spirit? In the next clip, the events that take place lead him to sprint down to the bathroom window and that's when he captures something bone chilling. Take a look. There is clearly someone knocking from inside that room, but there's nobody to be seen. He then scuttles back into the bathroom, and the second he opens the door, the banging stops. Almost like something was waiting for him to interact with it, but no matter how spooky it gets, he remains extremely sceptical and attempts to put it all down to issues in the piping. 
the water hammer phenomenon could well be a possibility considering the noise water makes when valves suddenly close can be extremely loud. Can't help but think about the convenient timing of the bang though, the way it stops when he opens the door, and all the weird movements he recorded and shown in the past. Surely piping issues wouldn't toss bottles and incense sticks off the side. They also don't make grisly wailing noises that echo through the house. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's coming from directly in front of the camera. He even went as far as attaching an external microphone to the camera so he could get a better idea of the direction where the sound is coming from. As this carries on, he decides enough is enough, but he might have made a big mistake. <laughs> His equipment looks a little out of place, but it's definitely picked up on something. Apparently, this toy picks up on noise and repeats it back to you, and when he holds it down to the road, it seems to repeat back a long, distorted, agonising wail. As soon as he figures out the exact place where the sound was coming from, he quickly tried hitting the unseen source of the noise, just like it was suggested by one of his commenters. But it clearly didn't work because in this next clip, we can still see him trying a different approach. <laughs> As weird and funny as it all sounds, there is something that ties this story together. An ancient trial was used in Japanese courts centuries ago called Gugachi, a trial where your innocence was determined by the gods 
after the way you handled submerging your hands in boiling water. If you came out unscathed, you were innocent. If you were burnt, well, let's just say, terrible things would happen. Perhaps the boiling water hitting the supposed spirit shocked it into silence because of its tragic past. The area where Yamaku resides is unknown, but it is clearly built heavily upon old rituals. Many traces of Futumani have been found nearby, a ritual where the shoulder blade of a stag is heated to create cracks and foresee the future. So, his new residence clearly isn't a stranger to spiritual beings or practices especially considering that there is an ancient tomb almost directly in front of its house. Is he being haunted by the ghostly apparition of the house's previous owner, or is he surrounded by thousands upon thousands of tortured souls not yet able to rest in their graves? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. They say ghosts tend to take over the house only when the owner is out. This creepy ass Facebook video uploaded by Firefighter Greg is the perfect example of that. Greg lives pretty close to the haunted place where the eerie footage was captured, which happens to be his colleague's house. One night, when they are both on duty, his friend's phone chimed alerting him to some motion detected by his wise camera. This wouldn't be too concerning if it wasn't for the fact that his friend lives completely alone. He immediately brought out his phone to see what could have moved in the house, only to find something utterly bone chilling. Let's take a look. If you follow the highlighted area closely, right after the lights go out, you observe a sinister figure as well as hearing some footsteps when whatever was there made its way across the room. You're probably thinking that this could have been an intruder moving in front of the camera, but everything points to something more sinister. They called the police thinking what most of us would have thought burglar in the house. But on getting there, the police found absolutely nothing other than the lights off. No forced entry and no one was in sight at all. After this unexplainable event, the uploader also stated that other weird things occurred in the house before his friend eventually decided to move out. But that was far from the first time someone captured an intruder on camera while everyone was out. Here is another person who caused something creepy passing by the camera. Ryman8 uploaded this bizarre video on YouTube showing some sort of eerie figure or energy strolling out of the room before it eventually sets off the intruder alarm. Imagine capturing something like this inside your home while you're out. Would you sleep there again? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, don't forget to bump the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. YouTube channel Gankwapi uploaded this creepy ass footage captured inside a playground but not just your average playground. Nearby residents are absolutely sure that this one is haunted. Not just because they see weird things happening all the time, but also because years ago, 
four young kids were playing on this swing when one of them accidentally jumped from it and broke his neck while landing, taking his last breath on the spot. After that, everyone swears that the area was never the same. Passers-by hear the sound of a child crying, and the sound becomes painfully loud after midnight. Some have even claimed to have seen the child ghost playing alone. Upon hearing these stories, the two investigators decided to check out the place precisely where people reported hearing the cries and wails coming from. And that's when they captured something bone chilling. Take a look. We can always blame it on the wind, right? Now that the guys are convinced that something needs to be done, they decide to perform a ritual to communicate with the ghostly child. ที่ทําเนี่ยคือต้องใช้สายสินพันเทียนใช่มั้ยพันเทียนแล้วก็ถูกหมาหอนด้วยมันแก้งๆน่ะหมาหอนด้วยหมาหอนด้วยเลยท
뭐야, 뭐라 했어, 방금? 여러분, 방금 들은 사람. 방금 뭐라 했어? 어? 어? 잠깐만요, 잠깐만요. 하지 마세요. 아, 제가 갈게요. 뭐야? 혼자 가, 뭐야? 오, 씨발. Who or what decided to flip that freaking sheet of paper over right in front of our eyes? Unsurprisingly, the cameraman bolts to another area, but whatever spooked him in the office seems to have latched onto him already. But the cameraman doesn't stick around to find out as he flees once again, this time into one of the builder's quarters. The room seems picturesque, aside from one thing he spots on the floor, which stops him dead in his tracks. What? <laughs> Is that dried blood? Nah. It's a freaking paranormal punch in the face. Something pulled the beaded curtains open, as if inviting us all inside. Would you go? Yeah, screw that. Could this be footage of a trapped soul desperately trying to communicate with the outside world? Or has someone spent a little too long setting up a scene for our entertainment? Make your mind up and let us know in the comment section. Before we show you the next hair raising video, here's a question for you. What the heck is going on between ghosts and doors? With that question in mind, let's look at this video. YouTube channel Milagros Guadalupe Estrada Palette. Uh, I, I've probably just butchered the name on that one, but, but let's proceed. They have been experiencing some weird unexplainable things in their house. The uploader also mentioned that this wasn't the first time that this one specifically happened, but it was indeed the first time that they could finally capture on camera. Here is the footage. Would a magnet behind the door be able to move it up and down like this? What about software masking tricks? It's not a still shot to do it easily. In fact, the person recording can't stay still at all, trembling like your mum's knickers. So what the hell is going on here? Once again, this wasn't the only footage of a poltergeist messing with doors. Check out this one uploaded by Joey Knight 12 Andrew, Andrew, hey, let's go, let's go record that room. Trying to the, yeah. Hurry. Why? Cause your dad, remember he told us about the about Robbie. What they hear? Oh, shit. hurry up though. Dang. With the way these boys are talking, we can guess that this is not the first time people talk about strange things happening in that particular room, but they just wanted to capture it on camera, so they decided to give it a go. What they found after watching the footage though, certainly freaked them out. That one, right? The witch shit. That one. Dude, this one looks scary. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, we should record. I should leave it right here, right? Where should I put it over here? Where? Where should I put it? Oh, Whoa. shit. Oh, that's fifth stands. Hold on. Oh. Right there. 
Could the dustpan, falling so slowly, trigger the door to the point that it slams shut? Again, this looks like something that was staged, but the quality of the video is clear enough, and we can't see any strings or signs of anyone around causing the movement. Also, the boys left in a totally different direction, so there is no way they could be responsible for it, right? What else could have made the door shut though? Leave a comment below with the words real or fake. If there is something we can learn from this ghost video, is to never make a pitch stop at an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. The uploader of the following video, Livid Excuse 1640, will probably agree with this statement. They were driving late at night and decided to stop by an abandoned house. Just as they get closer to it, they found something that left them out of breath, and it will likely leave you too. Take a look. Holy oh, f Go, 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 go. Did you see the ghostly figure staring at them from the inside? What would a kid be doing there so late at night? And why does he look so pale? Could it be a mannequin purposely placed at the window to scare anyone passing by? So many questions. Do you think there is a deeper meaning to what they saw? Let us know what you think in the comments. And while you're at it, don't forget to bump the like button. It truly helps the channel grow. Also, please subscribe if you want to get notified every time we bring you new scary videos like these. This home security camera captures something that we have all experienced at some point and still feel pretty normal about it. Of course, what's weird about the wind blowing paper off the table, right? However, a look at this second clip will draw your attention to the possibility of other forces being at play here. A draft coming through the home surely would not be able to throw the heavier things down and move the chair back. So, what the hell caused these weird events? We could put the blame on a pesky poltergeist, but there also could have been a string pulling the wooden chair one way and the banana off the table the other. Did you spot any strings though? We didn't. But what about fancy editing tricks? Even after going frame by frame, there's still no signs of it. And again, this video was uploaded in 2011, so it's very unlikely that this uploader back then would spend a fortune on expensive software just for his own personal use. But there's more from the same house. Let's watch. Thank 
Notice how the cloth on the floor seems to be moving on its own. That movement doesn't look like it's been done by a string and there doesn't seem to be anyone around either. Then the bed canopy and the pillow decide to join the party too. Was it just Windy Wednesday in the house or did we just watch some pretty cool poltergeist stunts? Let us know. Hey, YouTube thinks this video is perfect for you to watch next. Let's see if they're right. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon and turn on all channel notifications to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.